everyone, welcome to our channel. Today's video, I am making zucchini bread. If you're running out of ideas from zucchini, I am giving you a new one to add for your repertoire. So, today I'm making torta salata. We call it torta salata in Italian. We are going to start first with uh, lining up the baking dish which is here it's rectangular i'm using this is 30 by 22 centimeters so do make sure that you line you put lining underneath the baking dish or you can put olive oil underneath or butter so this is this is what let me show you how you how I want it, this is, I want to pass it to you. So I put that to put something in between to hold in space and paper because it gets thrown away. So what you do is cut the corners, the four corners. Of course, this is rectangular, so I use the. Uh, you, put, you have four corners. And by doing this, the uh, paper will sit nicely at the bottom of the baking dish. And you see that is looking very good, even without the zucchini or weight in the middle. So now <clears throat> the oven is preheating already for 200 degrees. And now we can we can start the uh, procedure. So and before that, I will tell you what the uh, ingredients are. I have this is a gluten free and low carb uh, cake uh, torta salata. It's like when it comes up, it's like focaccia. So this is a uh, chickpea flour because it's healthier and lighter. And I got one zucchini, it's quite big, and one carrot, three eggs, 100 milliliters of olive oil, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And I've got here um, basil, fresh basil. If the basils are not in season, basilico, basil, I use thyme sometimes, fresh thyme, a tablespoon, because uh, it just gives extra aroma. So now I'm going to grate the zucchini. If you're new to this channel, welcome. And I do hope that you press the subscribe button. Would really appreciate it if you subscribe. So do make sure that don't hurt your fingers. So still have a grip in there. So in there, and so I'm adding one carrot. Look at this beautiful color. The two of them and look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, you can stop. So that's it. I grated the tocaro zucchini. Now we need to squeeze out the excess liquid. Now, there are two things that you can do about this, uh, uh, removing the excess liquid. You, you either put it in a clean cloth and squeeze it, squeeze. Look at that, look at the, um, look at the excess liquid. Let me show you closer so that you can see. Look at those. Um, So now I'm putting it in a bowl and up on my, my thing. Or you can do, you can do it by your hand. Just like that. There you go. The oven is cold. 
going, you know. Just squeeze it, or of course, squeeze it with your, in between your hands, but of course, there will have some, some uh, waste. So I will uh, actually recommend the using the cloth. Look how much water I've got from from the veg after I squeeze. So squeeze, squeeze is important here. Just roughly chop it. Sometimes I don't even chop it. Look how, look how rough it is. So basil, basil, basil. Okay, now I'm going to crack the egg. Three of them. As always, I start in a small bowl because you never know. I know I said it a million times already. Okay, that's the third, third one, and now we get the olive oil. Get the olive oil, mix it first before you add the olive oil. And now I'm adding the olive oil. This is a very healthy bread because it's no butter, no uh, wheat, it's savory, and this is chickpea flour, 150 grams of chickpea flour, and this is the vegetable that we grated. And squeeze. We grated and squeeze, and now we are. Let me just mix the chickpea and the egg and olive oil all together, and then I'm adding the vegetable. Do remember that this is no gluten, so it's not gonna rise much, and also. You have to put the vegetable because otherwise, if it's not, if it's no vegetable, it will be too dense. So that's the baking powder, just to give a little bit of lift and salt. Don't put it together next to baking powder. I know it's going to be mixed together. So just mix and mix. Mix it good, mix it better, and mix it the way it should. Now, I told you that 100 milliliters of water, that will all depend on the size of your zucchini. In my case, I use a little bit bigger than will you will probably use, so I will probably add a little bit more olive oil but not more more than a tablespoon because this this consistency will be just good even if without adding the extra but I will just drop directly from the bottom from the pilia and this is basically done, ready to to bend this bit. See that little corner? Now I Don't miss any of those bits at the bottom of the bowl because they will still be good. And just make sure you even it a little bit at the top because, as I said, this is gluten-free so it's, it's not going to 
rice much and this will cook quicker if, of course if you don't have rectangular you can use round one whatever you have in hand let me use my hand to clean the spatula now this is going to the oven for 200 degrees for 30 minutes Oven. And that is it after 30 minutes. And this is the reason why you need to put lining underneath the bottom of the baking dish. And let it cool on the rack. The salad is cooled down a little bit. Now I can slide it through the cutting board and we can slice it and have a taste. Now it all depends how you like to cut, to cut it. This is how I like to cut it because I can top it with cheese or salami. I cut it about two to three inches wide and that's how thick it is it's about it's about an inch thick so it's about focaccia type so look at that look at the vegetables in there so I, I nowadays that i serve now that people have all different kinds of diet and i actually serve this for breakfast uh, with cheese and salami and uh, we eat it for soup we eat it for sandwich we with it like that and you can do whatever you want to do with it and it's delicious very moist but not soggy and i can definitely taste the bus and you can eat this with almost anything like and share this is a very good recipe that you can do it again and again and to share with friends and family it's very healthy, no butter, no, no flour. And thank you for watching and I'll see you for my next video. Ciao for now.